Trump unleashes all hell and scares informant back into cave he's been hiding in by usfortrump.com. President Trump came out swinging Tuesday night, unleashing on the FBI's infiltration of his campaign with a pair of explosive tweets. The president knows how to stir up the left, the media, but most importantly, get his message directly to the American people by bypassing the fake news. President Trump lit up Twitter Tuesday night after he tweeted what he, uh, we are all thinking the spies infiltrated his campaign for political purposes to help crooked Hillary win the election. He tweeted if the person placed very early on uh, into my campaign wasn't a spy put there by the previous administration for political purposes. How come such a seemingly massive amount of money was paid for services rendered many times higher than normal? Then he took a jab at crooked Hillary. Follow the money. The spy was there early in the campaign and yet never reported collusion with Russia because there was no collusion. He was only there to spy for political reasons and to help crooked Hillary win, just like they did to Bernie Sanders, who got duped. I think Bernie Sanders was in on it. There's his one tweet, and there is uh, the other. President Trump is fed up after a year's worth of investigation into his 2016 campaign and nothing has come to light except for apparent wrongdoings by Hillary Clinton's campaign and Obama's DOJ and FBI. And now that it appears the FBI and DOJ are stonewalling efforts rather than helping to bring the truth to light, President Trump is ready to take matters into his own hands. The latest information shows there was an informant, a mole, planted in the Trump campaign before there were any legal grounds to do any such thing. Judge Janine calls it a classic totalitarian third world tactic. The informant has also been hiding for the last nine months, according to Judge Janine. She dropped a major bombshell Sunday night when she said, any collector, their name for an informant working on a national campaign must have a sign off by the Attorney General. Here, that would be uh, liar Loretta Lynch. Lynch herself should have uh, had to approve an informant on that campaign. And if she didn't, then the FBI under James Comey was even more rogue in their attempt to destroy Donald Trump. In addition, President Trump slammed Mueller over uh, the year-long $20 million witch hunt that has brought forth absolutely nothing incriminating involving Trump's campaign related to Russian collusion, yet it continues, and Mueller keeps pushing forward. Uh, after Trump's initial tirade over the weekend, he let some uh, time pass before dropping a Moab that is sure to have former FBI officials in sheer panic. Trump said on Sunday, I hereby demand and will do so officially tomorrow. And the Department of Justice look into whether or not the FBI slash DOJ infiltrated or surveilled the Trump campaign for political purposes. And if any such demands or requests were made by people within the Obama administration, if this doesn't grab Attorney General Jeff Sessions' attention to do something now, nothing will. President Trump is merely forcing him to act. On Tuesday, President Trump told reporters, if they had spies in my campaign, that would be a disgrace to this country. The time has come for America to see the truth behind the crooked investigation and spying into President Trump's campaign. And many believe everything revolved around the FBI and DOJ's alleged FISA abuse and spying is politically motivated. And if proven true, 
this will be bigger than Watergate. And we all know, I just can't wait for the uh, uh, hearings to take place, you know? That would be great. Congress would like to see documents opened up. A lot of people are saying they had spies in my campaign. If they had spies in my campaign, that would be a disgrace to this country. That would be one of the biggest insults that anyone's ever seen. That would be very illegal, aside from everything else. It would make probably every political event ever look like small potatoes. So uh, we want to make sure that there weren't. I hope there weren't, frankly. If they had spies in my campaign, during my campaign, for political purposes, that would be unprecedented in the history of our country. Well, we had Obama in office, so of course it was it would be unprecedented. He had no respect for the country, no respect for anything. He sold us out along with Hillary was going to finish the job. So there you have it in a nutshell. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.